it's refreshing to listen to you and to think that, I mean, I, I really believe that if I was born, you know, in, in, in 1945, that I would have voted for your uncle. You know, I, I really believe that. I mean, I just, when I, when I listen to what he says, that is not what I hear at all from your party anymore. And you represent, you know, just that classic liberalism that I think a lot of people want. I, mean, I think you're the Democrat that that party deserves. And I don't, you know, really vote Democrat, but I see that in you. And I think that's why it's so refreshing. And that's why it's so frustrating to see that this is so binary. And that's my last question to you. It's just like, you're, you're here, you're, you're obviously, you're, you're running third party. You know, I mean, is it, you know, how, do you, how do you do it? Like, I mean, do, I mean, do, you, do you, know, you really my, believe you my, can do it? You know, my objective from the beginning, I said, I am gonna, my objective is not, is to try to bridge the, the, the you know, this vitriol, this terrible polarization right. that we have, Rob, in this country that's now, I think, more dangerous than at any time since the American Civil War. And it's even more dangerous because it's amplified by the social media algorithm so that we are being driven further and further apart. The chasm between Americans is getting larger and larger. This hateful rhetoric. Yes. The polarization. I don't think the violence against President Trump is an accident. The same thing happened, you know, my, during, when my uncle was shot. It was a time of terrible polarization. There, the, you, don't, the, you don't think it was an accident. Ex explain that. Uh, well, I just think, it, you know, there was, like, when my father was shot, was yeah. probably, at that time, the most divided, um, uh, violent part of American history since the Civil War. When my uncle, President Kennedy, was shot, the newspapers had, and, the, and there were posters all over Dallas that day that were posted saying, with his, with his picture on it, saying, wanted for treason, dead or alive. So, and I think, you know, his... Part of the violence at, of that time was uh, was a result of all of this, this separation, separation and the vitriol, yeah. the division. And what I said is, I'm not going to feed into it. I'm not going to make personal attacks on President Biden or President Trump. I'm going to be respectful. I'm going to be congenial. I'm going to I'm going to criticize their policies. Yeah. And but I'm going to do it in a red way that brings Americans together. And I'm going to look for those those values that Americans have in common rather than these, you know, these yeah. issues that are used to keep us all at each other's throats and, it's a, it's and try a, to become a president who will give power back to the people and who will unite America because we have terrible problems right now. The economy, the addiction to war, the chronic yeah. disease epidemic, the destruction of our soils, all this. We can solve all those problems, but we can't solve them when we're fighting each other. We can yeah. only solve them when we, you know, when we come together. And that's what I'm trying to do. I respect that. Sir, thank you so much. Rob, thanks so much.